the first camera I started with was a uh, Canon Rebel T2i, like really beginning, like lower level DSLR. And I guess I was kind of bored one day and I w walked into a Best Buy and right when I walked in, I saw that I was on sale and I had no idea about anything. I just knew Canon was like a pretty reputable brand. So I saw it and I bought it and I really didn't like the photos when I was taking them because I was shooting on auto. And I like fidgeted around with the camera and figured out what um, monochrome was. And I was like, oh, I love shooting in black and white. This is cool, but it still looked kind of flat. So I went into the custom settings, boosted up the contrast and the sharpness. And ever since then, like there was no turning back. That was always my go-to, just like really like contrasty black and white photos. I'm motivated by a lot of things. Um, it has a lot to do with where I come from and growing up in Anaheim it's just like a such a fast city and it almost felt like a trap. I mean I know there's people like Gwen Stefani that were successful that came from Anaheim but I can't really name too many others especially not in like the creative or art scene and I don't know. It, I just felt like I was like always going nowhere and I always ended back there and was always so stuck and trapped in the same place. And when I bought a camera, I started shooting, meeting all these people, being exposed to art, like learning about all these cool places and cool things to do. And I was like, this camera is like my way out. Like not saying it was like a horrible place, but it was like definitely like a gateway for me to like you know grab the bull by the horns and like make the most out of myself and within the short amount of time of me like picking up the camera I'd met so many cool artists so many cool people been to so many different states and countries and stuff like that like I remember like just over a year ago shooting in Paris in Amsterdam in Germany and I was just like it wouldn't happen if I wouldn't have stumbled into Best Buy and bought that camera one day. It's, it's crazy. Some of my first subjects were strippers or tweakers. Like, I'm not going to lie to you and I'm not going to put it nicely. Like, I didn't have fashion models at my fingertips. I didn't have money to pay for people. I literally posted on Facebook or something like, hey, I'm... I have a camera and I want to learn how to use it. Like, who's going to sit in front of my camera for me? Or I just go out and take it to parties and take photos of wild shit going on. Just throw on that black and white setting and I would just take photos of anything. I remember the, some of the first shit I ever shot was taking photos of flowers and stupid shit like that. And people like that. And the next thing you know, a girl's like, oh, you should take photos of me, blah, blah, blah. And then you have your Instagram models like, oh, I love your work. Take photos of me. And you do that for so long, you do that for so many years and you don't make any money. And next thing you know, you're a starving artist and bills are piling up and likes don't pay bills. And you have to know your worth and start putting a price on it. And that's what I did. And, you know, if people don't want to pay for my services, then that's fine. Find someone with an iPhone who will. Hey, thanks for watching. For more videos, be sure to click on over to the right and like and subscribe to our channel below. See ya.